All right, so I was trying to take at this, and I already uploaded the other video. Um, engine's on, torque app is on on the phone, 3.5 millimeter video out, no audio right now, engine is off, don't know if I said that already. Um, okay, so to review the app, uh, on the phone it looks great, quality and color is nice, it's kind of washed out on my navigation, but... I don't really care about that. Um, as you can see, we have revs, throttle, position, and speed. They're off right now. If I scroll through, boost I found to be off. Uh, my boost gauge will show 5 psi. I didn't want to go up to 21, but uh, 5 psi on my actual boost gauge over here. And I'll read about 3.5 on the OBD2. Uh, I haven't tried any of this stuff while driving yet. I didn't really want to hold the phone and look at this at the same time, but um, coolant temperature 30 degrees, that's what is that? 90 degrees, about 100 degrees or so. Not on the conversion. Uh, intake pressure, intake temperature, those shouldn't be that correct right now since the engine's not on yet I'm not sure and it's showing acceleration at 0.3 G's so that's also probably wrong um, we have I can't I don't know if you can read this but the fourth one from the bottom is also throttled this is basically the all info widget but down here if I throttle again you'll see that the throttle jumps but one of the benefits of this app is if I go into the actions, show logged faults, I can read my check engine light, which I have a P0401 code right now, three of them actually, and if I click on it, it'll tell me it's an exhaust gas recirculation flow insufficient detected, um, it's just an EGR tube that popped off my EGR valve or vacuum tube that popped off my EGR valve supposedly from what I read on the forums um, I can close this oh and I guess I forgot to show this part but if I bring that back up and I look at the code again right here there's close button I don't know if it's focusing and a web button. I haven't tried that yet, but I'm gonna guess it's gonna search the web for my code. Okay. Under actions again, I, I can also clear logged faults. It'll ask me if I'm sure, if I logged everything, if I fixed the problem. Hit OK. And oh, my check engine lights out. So there would be no more faults. So I'm using this basically as a cheap CAMP2 system and a cheap OBD2 reader. And it seems to work out pretty well. Everything basically cost me 20 some odd dollars plus shipping. Got it from, I was hoping to get it from a US uh, seller on eBay but uh, the one posted on the XDA forums, uh, I guess, sold out or wasn't selling anymore. And the other U.S. sellers were selling the same exact product for about forty dollars when I got one from Hong Kong for twenty something plus shipping. Uh, the only con, the only bad thing about that would just be the two-week shipping wait. But I, it's well worth it if you want a code reader for cheap, and if you had a double in like this. It's a nice little feature when driving, I mean, obviously I don't condone staring at this while driving because that could be dangerous, but it's nice to have, show off to your friends, someone as a coach, just pull out your phone and then clear their code and read their code for them. Not in that order, of course. This is a DE31 showing off the Torque uh, application for the Android operating system.